welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I am going to be trying a pour that I haven't tried in a while. It was, didn't have the best results with it. I did post the video though. This was several months back um, and I called it the mixed method pour. It is kind of pulling things from different pours. It pulls from the, um, the dragon flower, um, the Majesty and the my layered pour, which I did, which was kind of like the fusion. So it's pulling from those things. So um, inspired by Crafting Kindness, by um, ResinCourses.com, and by myself. Um, so I'm gonna do this pour in this new mold I got from Resinable Creations. It's a nice big mold. It holds 200 mils of resin. Um, it is. I think it's like. The whole mold itself is seven inches across, so it's just a really nice big mold. Um, I mixed up 200 mils of Art Pro resin, and this has a lot of parts to it, so let me get started with it. I did let my resin sit for like 10 to 15 minutes before I started mixing everything up. All right, so part one. Well, part, one part, I guess, is this right here is Dollar Rowney Indigo. So that's one part. This right here is Liquitex Turquoise Deep. <clears throat> the next part is Liquitex Vivid Lime. The next part is um, let's resin ocean white. The next part is just resin brushed copper paste. Okay, brushed copper paste. And then the last part is my center, which is a bunch of it's circle gl um, glitter, and it's in copper and black, and it is called Penny and it's from Hobby Lobby, so Penny. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I have not done this in a while, so I have my little notes over here to kind of help me out. So I'm gonna start off with um, the green, and I'm gonna go around the outside of the mold and just pour a layer along the outside edge. So I'm gonna start off with this. And just try to make it as even as I can, but I'm not overly worried about it. It's gonna do what it's gonna do, what it's gonna do, right? All right, let's see if I can get some more of this out. The amounts of the three main colors, it's the same amount of resin. So, so the amount of green is the same amount as the indigo, which is the same amount as the turquoise. All right, so now, let me grab my trash. Slide that over. Next, I'm gonna take the turquoise and I'm gonna pour it in the middle. And just do this. There we go. Kind of tired. I'm trying not to sniffle at you. It's been really cold here and it's giving me the sniffles. And I'm super tired because my dog, Hades, my pit bull, decided it would be really fun yesterday to eat the remote control to the TV. So, yeah, so I was up with him last night. He got me up at two o'clock this morning, throwing up the pieces. Thankfully, he's fine. He didn't eat the batteries and it's all good, but you know, it's never fun to be woken up by an animal or a child puking. Okay, I'm gonna pour the dark color in the center. Like that. And then, there's that one. 
Anyway, so he's feeling fine. He's good. He ate it yesterday when we were at work. He's not happy that we've gone back to work. So neither of my dogs are happy that we've gone back to work. So I'm going to pour this in a line, a fine line right at the borders of my pores. So this is at the border between the turquoise and the lime. Hold on. This paper towel is coming with me. <laughs> All right, let's pick this back up. I didn't want to bring it into the, the pour. All right, so if I got that. Then I'm going to do it on the border of the indigo and the turquoise. And I'm not making it super thick. I'm just going to draw a layer. I'm actually going to go twice on this one. Keep catching myself on this stupid paper towel. Get over there. All right. And then when the last time I did it, I poured it right around the edge. But I think this time I'm going to pour a layer in the middle because this is a larger mold. So there's more space in the middle. And then I'm just gonna go and do this last outside one one more time. And I, I don't really have a, an amount that I used because I just stuck my stick in it and kind of mixed it up and then scraped off the stick and then used what was on it. All right, I did not use all of that, but I used most of it. Okay, now I'm gonna put my white in a piping bag. I usually do that first. It's just been a minute since I've done this. So I'm a little like discombobulated, I guess you'd call it. I'm just not sure exactly whether I'm coming or going. Okay. It's really quiet here tonight. My son went out. And he, I don't think he's going to come back tonight. I think he's coming back tomorrow. So he's not in there yelling at his video games like he normally does. So it's super quiet. All right. Put that in there. I'm going to keep this paper towel kind of out of the way because I don't want to drag it with my shirt. I don't usually wear long sleeves. But like I said, it's been really cold for me anyway. Nothing like what it is for some of my friends. Like Texas is super, super cold right now. And Missouri and some other places across the country. And I, it's positively balmy here compared to that. But for me, it's cold because I'm used to being warm all the time. And all right, I'm going to cut the tip of this off. I'm going to make it a very small cut. At least that's my goal. My scissors need to be cleaned. All right, I think I got this. Now I'm gonna do a little torch just because there's a lot of bubbles here, but I'm not gonna do a lot of torching just because um, it's shallow and I don't want to fry my mold. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it like the dragon flower. I'm gonna do zigzags, okay? Um, and I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do like this. It started off kind of funny because my edge is not um, sharp because my scissors got caught up on it. So I'm just doing zigzags. So this is similar to the dragon flower, but not exactly like the dragon flower. It's kind of like the majesty, but just a different shape. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the outside and I'm gonna do that again. So um, kind of like on the majesty, how Amanda does it twice. So this part is, the shape is insp inspired by the dragon flower, but the method is inspired by Amanda and the majesty. 
and that would be crafting kindness. Okay, the dragon flower is from um, resincourses.com. And I'm going to do this, and when I get into the middle, I'm going to um, let it sit for a few minutes while it moves into the center, which hopefully it will do. All right, and then I'll be back in a minute to do another row around the outside, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, that actually moved pretty fast. So it's almost closed in the center. I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna add another row around the outside. And I don't feel like I need a ton. I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna make this kind of like a regular sized row along the outside. All right, now the last step is I'm gonna do my clear push. I'm gonna pour it in very gently in the middle and then what I'll do is I will add my center and we'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna add this very gently in the middle. So it's pushing it out, but it's not like destroying it. It's a lot of push. I kind of feel like I probably could have gotten away with less push and ha or colored it or something, but we'll find out. We'll see how it comes out. And maybe next time I will put a color in the actual push. I just kind of felt like there was a lot of push there and this is not going to fill it up all the way at all um, part of it is because some of it still i still have white left um, and the other and a little bit of the copper but the other part is is that this mold holds more than 200 i just only made 200 because that's usually what i make when i mix up my art pro I think that is it. Now let me add the center and then we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that's not too big. Kind of all came out in a blob. In a giant blob, blobby blob. might be a little bigger than I had planned. Oh well. All right, there we go. Hopefully that's centered. Let me give her a quick torch. And with any luck, this will close right up and be gorgeous by the time we unmold tomorrow. I'll put a little time lapse on. We'll see what it does. And I'll see you when it's time to unmold. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Looks very interesting on this side. Looks clear in the center, like it didn't close all the way. Yeah, it's a little bit clear in the center. Here we go. Well, that's definitely different. Those little petals are cool. Did not quite do what I hoped. Maybe the white was too heavy. I, I like the petals though. It's the center I'm not a fan of. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for being here. Bye.